Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. Um, we are on a part two of this beautiful leopard. Um, you can find the um, link to the reference photo down in the description box below the video, as well as um, a list of the supplies um, that I have used. And uh, yeah, so we are going to continue on. And I've been like waffling back and forth as far as like whether I want to start working, you know, in here or if I want to work over here. I just don't know. I mean, really, to do it quite properly, you should be working from this side over if you're right-handed um, or this side over if you're left-handed. Um, but I think I'm just going to work where the inspiration takes me and use a piece of glassine paper to cover um, any bits that I have um, put colored pencil on. So uh, that's, yeah. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do at least maybe um, this. I don't know. We're just, I'm just going to go. <laughs> we'll see what, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah. So, um, I also discovered that my, um, my sandpaper that I use to sharpen my pastel pencils works really great to sharpen, um, color pencils if I kind of already have a decent point on it, but I just want like a super duper sharp point. Um, I just whip out my sandpaper and just do a little bit of sanding on that, and that gives me a super sharp point without having to put it in the um, in the pencil sharpener. So that was kind of a, a, a cool discovery, something that I, I'm kind of surprised I didn't I didn't think of before, but you know that's okay. All right, so um, I think I want to work. I think I want to do this and work and work up. Why? I have no idea. Just because. So the question is, do I use and these <laughs> now that they're um, covered up and in this um, thingy, I can't think of the names of these different pencils. This one is brown ochre ten percent, but I think that's going to be too dark. So I think we'll do buff titanium and then we'll go from there and see what we need to um, we need to add because we might need something to kind of yellow up or cream up this area a little bit. Okay, these three dots I believe are these three dots. So we actually need, let's go ahead and start with the um, yellow ochre, 10%, because this is a bit darker. Um, I also want to make sure that I have the edge um, proper here. So bear with me for just a second. This, 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 and this. So this is kind of my, this is the edge where the, it starts to get darker on the face. Okay, I just don't want to accidentally cover stuff up that I shouldn't. Okay, so let's just start. a challenge for me um, not to put the black in <laughs> right away. I want to uh, get that in. For some reason it just makes me, um, I don't know, I want to do it first and work around, but that's, that's a no-no. We can't do that. Okay, 
there's this little, that's that, that's that, that's this. So there's this little um, kind of lighter line of white or lighter color. So I'm going to pull the white. It's not, this is, it's not, maybe not really brighter, but it, there's just something about it that looks to me like it should stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to make it stand out a little bit more. I can always darken it later if I need to with some glazing of colors. Okay, so that was just that little bit there. And then we'll come back in with the brown ochre 10% again. Things start to get lighter back in here. So that's where we'll switch to the buff titanium. Switching to buff titanium. Oh, I can just imagine this. <laughs> All right, I'm going to shut up about it. I don't know why. I feel like it makes me so nervous when the camera starts shaking. Maybe I just need to slow. actually think I'm going to, even though it's not really white, I am going to switch to white right in here. Back to the buff titanium. I'm thinking that this might be a little bit of a challenge for me. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out here in the bottom. Um, Push this down a little bit so you can see. Because the way the reference photo is, this is all very dark. Um, and so these darks in the face blend into the background. And I just don't know what it's going to turn out to look like um, when I do the background light. I was looking at that earlier today thinking, boy, howdy, I hope I can pull that off and make it look like it's supposed to. Okay, I'm actually going to stop right there. And we're going to move up to a different color. Um, don't I have a brown? Oh, well, yeah, that's what I was just using, wasn't it? Brown ochre 10%. Yes, let's go back to the brown ochre 10% up in here. And then we'll put some darker colors in there as well.
gonna just maybe zoom in a little bit here. Okay, let's see what we can do about shadows. That's a little bit better, isn't it? As long as I stay in focus, we're okay. All right. Um, might as well just go ahead and keep, might as well just keep going in here. Although, I do kind of want to do the ear and then come this way because we're going to have these hairs that are going to overlap on top of the ear hair. So we'll just do a little bit. Okay. We'll get up to there a minute. Let us. I'm gonna see if I can't. My my idea of putting the white in it kind of disappeared. I don't. I really can't tell the difference between the white and the buff titanium. So I'm gonna get some gray. But a light warm gray. I think four is still too dark. Let's try warm gray three. That's this one right here. So let's put a little bit of that. It may not even make any difference at all because we still have, uh, you know, some browns and stuff to put in here. It's probably not gonna make any difference. Okay. Um, now the question is, do I use... This is quite... I don't know why I used... Why did I use white there? I have no idea. Um, let me scoot this over a little bit. There we go. You can see that a little better. I don't know why I did that. Uh, okay. So just so that I can get this right, this goes here. And this actually comes up. There's a little bit of... This is actually... Yeah, okay. All right, let me find something. I don't know what I want to use yet. I think I want to use polychromos. And do I want... This might be completely the wrong thing to use, but I'm going to try it. This is um, light yellow ochre. It's, it looks quite yellow compared to what I did up here, but when I look at the reference photo, it does kind of look yellowy, so... Let's just use a tiny little bit of that. Just so this is what I mean by glazing. I'm just barely touching the paper of the film with the pencil. And it's because the film just takes marks so so very well. It uh, you barely have to touch it. Okay, I'm kind of
kind of tempted to put my black in now. This is um, brown ochre 50%. So we definitely need some. That's almost too orangey. Are we switching to nougat? This is the um, nougat in the polychromos. know what to do about this in here. I want to sharpen this. So here's a good example. My, my point is pretty sharp, but I don't want to run it through the um, pencil sharpener. So if I just use the sandpaper, then I get like a super duper sharp point. Um, it helps me get in here between some of these um, pencil strokes. I am feeling the need to get my black in because that's going to change the way all of this looks. So let's do that. Let's put the black in. just going to go ahead and do it all up here. <sighs> Sorry about that. Seems to be a lot of action out on the street today. Thankfully, I live on a in a fairly quiet neighborhood, but it is a um, one of those streets that does go through, so sometimes we get traffic on it. So basically what I put down first is, is basically the highlight of the hair. Because um, it's going to kind of remain, because I used the, um, the luminance, it's going to kind of remain textured there. And the other colors that go on top of it will allow what I put down first to still show through.
feel like I'm holding my pencil really, really tight. Need to loosen up that hand a little bit. I think it's because the polychromos black isn't isn't as black as I would you know want it to be from the start and I'm still kind of so used to my using my old Prisma black that just gets is so black from the very beginning. probably could use, um, you know, the luminance black or Jeez Louise. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what was I saying? I'm concerning myself with the camera shaking again. Um, luminance black or uh, Derwent drawing black. And I probably will add some of that um, to blacken it up some more. But I find that the slice tool, at least it seems like it so far, that the slice tool works better on polychromos. It's like they don't um, grip the surface as much. And so um, I'd rather use the polychromos first, then use the slice tool, and then come in and deepen the color in the middle. Okay, so we have a little bit of black on this very edge. already put that in and then this and just going to take a gray let's see this is the edge here. That's the hard, I think the hard part is, is really differentiating the different um, contours of the face. And that's where you're going to get that realism. So if you don't have the the differentiation between the different planes of the face, then it just kind of looks like one big round ball. I don't know. I don't... All right, let us now take, maybe I'll try the nougat. Let's try the nougat. I'm just going to. I still feel like it needs to be more yellow, but not as yellow as that. Um, let me... I just want to... 
have enough down probably for that to work. Something, something's not right there. I need to get maybe some more, some more black in. Maybe I'll use my eraser. I think I have black here where I don't want black. This is that this is that cut line of edge there. So let's put some more gray. It's not dark enough. Um, warm gray four. Debating on this is the burnt umber. I'm going to do a little bit here. Right, I might try some, some, um, well, maybe we'll try cream. All right, let's try cream. Careful, don't go over that. <laughs> don't go over the black. It's not bad. I mean, it's, it looks quite bright on the camera, but I think it's going to be okay. All right. Do I need to do... Let's just do a few... discovered that having a sharp blade you'd be surprised how they dull down <laughs> so having a sharp blade in your um, for your slice tool really really helps <sighs> well, that's a little loud Okay, I think 
I want to add a little bit of um, brown, oh, brown ochre 50% just glazed on top here. It seems like it needs it. that up here too because we do have it's the colors up here are closer to this one Just going to darken up with my luminance some of this. Kind of working around the area where I sliced out. This does not look right. This area here is not right to me. That needs to be warmer or, I don't know, something. This is straight brown ochre. Still, I'm wondering if I need to take dark sepia. Darken some of this up in here. And sometimes going backwards. into the hair. <clears throat> Some of those look a little bit too um, long. Those hairs look too long. I made them too long. Okay, this is where the tool also comes in handy because you can just break up some of those hairs. And presto, you have little short hairs instead of instead of hairs that are too long. one's got too much sliced into it so I'm gonna fill that in a little bit some of these should come in closer to each other How's 
this feeling? It's feeling okay. Let's, um, maybe we should start working on the ear. So I'm going to push this up a little bit. And scoot this over a little bit. All right, I'm going to start on the ear and work in, I think. So we'll start with black. Kind of want it to be a little sharper. Yeah, I really like that um, that method. It's quick and easy to give me a little bit of a sharper point, and I don't touch I don't touch the lead or the you know wood casing yet, so I haven't really taken down any of the. Okay, this ends right about in here. Um, boy, we've got... Okay, this is... I want to get some of this dark in here and it has to be th thick enough that I can slice it out. I do think I'm going to use the slice tool f for that. Um, so... I'm just going to start adding some black here. Cross my fingers. And the nice thing is that when you use a slice tool, um, it does indent into the paper if you use it um, firmly enough, I guess. Um, and so it um, you can glaze over it and darken areas if you want to, and they won't. Actually, I should probably just slice all of this. Okay, so this is, <laughs> I'm just going to do this because I'm not, uh, I just need to shut up and just try it because I really don't, I'm not an expert. And then maybe we'll do gr grays in here. This is going to be like, uh, maybe sepia. My uh, the luminance, not the, yeah, the luminance sepia. Maybe. Or even violet gray. All right, I have to, I have to step up and get, 
get my sepias because I'm using them for a different project. I need to have uh, a second project to work on when I'm not filming. Um, or else I'll go crazy. <laughs> so I have, I have project number two that I'm working on for when the camera's not rolling right now. Do I like that? Yeah, I think I, I think I like that. Boy, I hope this slices out okay. It's a little scary. Like part of me wants to throw some. Uh, part of me wants to put some of the some some of the uh, luminance down as a resist. Okay, so before I keep going, I need to try something. I need to make sure that I'm going to be happy with how this... So I'm just going to darken this one little area here. And then I'm going to try this slice tool. It's always scary, you know, to just like randomly throw a bunch of color down there and be like, what if it doesn't work? That would suck. All right, I'm worrying for nothing. I am worrying for nothing. Okay, we're fine. So I'm gonna keep putting um, sepia 50% in here. And actually I can just kind of, I don't think I even have, to, I don't think I even have to, um, you know, go in the direction of the hair. I think we can just... make swirly motions. All right, I wanna... Do I wanna change colors? I want this to come down in here some more. I'm still nervous, even after confirming that the tool goes through. It's still like, is this the right thing to do? I don't know. Maybe even darker. This is sepia 50%. I might switch to sepia. Just straight sepia in here. Want to get a few things kind of um, mapped out here. So this is going to be here, and This is here. Um, it's, it's dark in here. Okay, I am going to sharpen this. All right, this is the um, 
What is this? <laughs> this is the brown ochre 10%, which might not even be the right color to use. Uh, but I want it to be the lemons. No, we're going to go with buff titanium instead. So I'm going to take buff titanium. This probably isn't even the exact right color to use, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, so this up in here, that's all this yellowy hair, and then the hair above it is even darker. So... I'm gonna do dark sepia, the dark sepia. And here, we'll slice out the little hairs. Kind of looking even darker than that. That looks too brown. Like we want gray. Um, bear with me. Um, I'm going to pull out the French gray instead. Wrong case. <laughs> French gray. French gray? All right, we're going to try French gray. We're going to try. I don't even think that's dark enough either. And sepia 50%. as well. I'm gonna lose my I'm gonna lose my place. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm so nervous about this. It's like, ah. I, uh. Okay, we're just, just going to fill it in. I don't know if this is the right thing to do or not. Uh, maybe. 
maybe we can my other thought is once we scrape out on the back side we can add um, we can add some color on the back side so that it, it uh, shows through all right I am going to I'm going to put brown ochre in here and I know that I'm pulling black through it. I don't think it matters in this case. Um, but the edge of the, the edge of the ear does matter. I'm not seeing, so here's this, here's this line. Why do I have, I think the edge of the ear I didn't draw in. Yep, the edge of the ear goes right here. And this is where the white fluffs out. Okay. Um, so let's keep going with this a little bit. So this is... Brown ochre, ten percent. I'm gonna put those in. I'm just gonna do it. They'll either slice out or they'll be kept as texture. Okay, and. that gray that I was using I was using French gray but I think I'm going to use the warm gray polychromos in here All of this has to get filled in because this is all okay so I'm gonna use uh, brown ochre I'm gonna put a little bit of this here as a marker this is probably lighter than I need but I want it to show for now I don't know what I picked up, but, I, but you can see that it grabs something that it shouldn't have. All right, let's get some more. We gotta get uh, some more dark in here. And then uh, this is the fluff. draw that probably too light probably should have used this one brown ochre ten percent let's do light a lighter gray in here Warm gray three. 
start blending that in. Just going to kind of mix a bunch of different colors in here because it looks like to me there's a bunch of different colors in here. So I can just... It'd be fabulous if this all turns out to be just wonderful. <laughs> like, ooh. I just don't know. We're about to find out. I might even want to take my warm gray uh, six. This is warm gray six. Let's pull some of this. So it's not a heavy line there. And some more sepia. Okay. Maybe a little bit more of the sepia sepia 50% okay um actually now I'm debating on I should do this after I slice out or now. This is this is warm gray six. It probably won't make any difference if I do it before or after. And I'm kind of using it. I mean, it seems to work. I could pull out the dark sepia. Actually, I'm thinking that black needs to come down a little bit more, too. All right, we'll fill that in afterwards. Okay, here we go. Um, let's start by establishing our line. kind of think this needs to be darker. I'm going to go ahead and put sepia in here. I don't I don't like that um that orangey color is too much. It'll come through. We're going to use it just not until after we slice. So I'm going to use the um, I'm going to use the sharp pointy end, this end, to start with because on this edge I want the tiniest of little marks. I don't want them to be thick. I want them to be very fine. Can you see enough? I'm going to zoom in even more. And maybe I'll even, if you give me a second. And it looks like it's out of focus. Let's get this back in focus here. Okay, hopefully that's in focus. Ah, there we go. That's better. Okay. 
All right, so pointy end. I'll be able to change that color. It looks it looks muddy. Okay, now we want the heavier end, the fatter end. That's going to be, we're going to do this lot, this heavier line of do these next and work down. And I think I'm going to want to add a color on the back side that's a little bit more um, a little yellow, a little more yellow. is on the is on the um it's not on the ear it's on the body but we've got hairs that are coming over it so I want to Kind of using a combination of the two different <coughs> sides of the tool so some of these are thicker and some of them are thinner Clean off your your um, tool every now and then. 
Now I'm looking right now and that needs is going to need to be so much darker. But I'm pretty sure that now as we sliced it out, um, it's pretty easy to come in and darken right over the cuts. Yep. Okay, this um, this section, this we might just have to like deal with um, a shaky camera because I can't concentrate on what I'm trying to do and worry about the camera. This is um, a little bit awkward trying to do it from this angle, but I think I can, I think I can do it. But I think you can hear and maybe even see the difference of depending on which side of the tool I'm using. Um, I can get a thicker line or a skinnier line. I'm going to slice over this, but I have a lot of um, filling in to do here, so the um, slice tool actually might help me there. Okay, let's take... You know what I want to do? I want to erase some pencil marks. I haven't done that yet on this. So if you'll bear with me, I'm going to pull out. There we go. And then I'll flip this over. go ahead and erase anything that we've um, already put color pencil on top of. Let's 
sometimes those pencil marks can be a little distracting on the front when I'm trying to see what I'm doing. And then while we're here, let's take, what color do we want to use? Maybe this burnt over 10%. Let's just do some. I might not. It might not make much difference. We need it to be yellower, so I want to use the the um, polychromos cream. I don't even know if that's right. It is yellower though. All right, we're gonna go with the cream. So, because I have, because I don't want the color of the paper to show, um, I want something a little bit more yellow. If I put that on the back side, then that helps to yellow up these hairs. And I can also glaze a little on the front. And I want to do something. Let me just get this down for you. out some more actually I think the uh, mono eraser will just be a little bit the lot those lines will get too thick we don't want them thick we want them very thin and wispy and they're kind of going all over the place so that's that's what I'm gonna do kind of go all over the place not this is buff titanium all right now we've got something's not quite the same although it doesn't look bad um, I feel like I need a little bit more darker in here and Maybe this is actually darker a little bit than this is. So maybe now I do use a little bit of the mono eraser. The mono eraser gives us a little bit of a softer, well, not a little bit, a lot of a softer uh, fluff, softer er erasing marks than the um, slice tool does. Just kind of, I'm kind of taking it out and putting back in and taking out and putting back in until I get it the way I want it. I think a little bit more brown in here. Well, that feels pretty good, I think. I am not, um, I am not unhappy with that. Um, 
Yeah. So. Um, this is dark sepia. But you can see that once you do the erase, once you use that mono eraser, you can you can glaze over what you've done and your your marks still say not mono eraser, the slice tool. Your um your marks just glaze over your the lines, the the hairs that you've created and you can get darkness back in there without covering up the hairs that you've just sliced out, which is pretty cool. So, you know, like if there's areas that you think, oh, this needs to be darker, you just come in and make it darker. and It works great. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with that ear um, it looks it looks weird I think because I made a mark there that I shouldn't have it looks a little bit um, it looks a little different than the picture but I think it's because there's no co there's no color behind the ear yet, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. And this, you know, this is all going to come up around here. All right, let's get let's fill in this bit and make a. Comp Kind of join those bits and then we'll probably be done for this session. Um, so this is the burnt ochre, 10%. stuff here that I think I accidentally erased, but we can figure it out. Okay, let's do a little bit of burnt ochre 50%. sharpen my black. Okay, so we had these. Yep, I think I definitely erased some stuff I wasn't supposed to, so we've got... This one, this one, and this one, this one. Now we need something here. Doesn't have to be exact, just another one.
we've got some. Oh, well, let's get the let's get the um, the big dots in first, and then we'll worry about the shadows. Why did I erase these so much? This one, this one, there's one here. I think I got carried away on the back side there. This one. This doesn't even probably need to go in yet. Then we have a big one here. one here. Alright, that's probably close enough. Let's get some more of this uh, brown ochre 50% in here. Carefully. umber. I just like this one as a, I think I said that in a previous video, I like it, it to soften the edges. Plus we've got darker bits of it in here anyway. tool in here and give it some texture. This all looks way too light. Um, burnt ochre. 50%. Just give this a little.
so now because we did the ear first these hairs will, will lay on top of what we just did I want warm gray. Nope. Warm gray six. I might even be able to. I would like to try something so I'm going to pull this one out put my textured put my textured paper in there and Just curious if so it's cool because it's like that I think I mentioned this in the last video it's like that textured paper gives the um, gives the drafting film extra tooth and lets you add some light colors over the top. This is the burnt umber.
right. I feel really good about that. Now, when I'm looking at it through the camera, my ear looks much bigger <laughs> than the ear does in the in the uh, reference photo. So I'm not sure what I did there. This all has to get darker. Um, what did I do there? So from this point to the tip. Yep, we made it a little bit, a little bit bigger than the reference photo. But I think it's going to be okay. Um, I think I wanted... And that's actually, like I said, I think that, no, you know what? Now that I'm looking at it, um, it's not. Look at it a little bit more carefully, and that actually is part of the ear. Go figure. Okay, well, that's all right. Um, yeah, I feel like there's just a few things that I just kind of can't want to keep tweaking here then. Just a few. <laughs> shape of this ear there's something that's that's bugging me because it should come in and then go out so I think we'll make that little adjustment right there but I think that'll be okay I don't like this right here. Since we have the texture paper, I think I can fix it. It's not perfect. But I think it'll be okay. I'll just add some I think once we get some some darker color on the body, you know, back here. And that will make bigger. That's going to be a stripe. I think our um, I think our ear will the shape will show up better. Right now it's not showing up because, yeah, it's just, it'll be okay. I'm, 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 I'm quite happy. So, um, that was a successful experiment. Okay. What is, oh, okay, so there we go. There is part two. Um, we'll keep on going. I'm pretty happy with how it's looking so far. I might want to come in here and just add a few more um, hair, uh, hairs, you know, maybe going the opposite. 
direction, not opposite direction, a, a slightly different direction than what I'm showing so that it, um, so that they show up and it looks very layered, which, which I like. A little bit of layer, a little texture. It's good. All right. I will call that a wrap for today, and um, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Bye.